guys. Well, Sunday morning. I'm going to make a spicy Hawaiian chicken in the crock pot. I got three good size chicken breasts over here. I'm just going to cube them up, get them into the crock pot. We're going to add some pineapple, jalapenos, some green and red pepper. And then pepper. we're going to thicken it with a little cornstarch at the end. But let's get the chicken cubed up, get it in the crock pot. All right. Chicken's all chopped up. I actually had four breasts, not now three. Now we'll do the green and yellow pepper. I thought it was a red pepper, but it's a yellow pepper. And we'll add that also to the chicken. Right. There we go. Green and yellow peppers and the chicken into the crock pot. Now we'll do the jalapeno and then we'll add the pineapple. All right, guys. Well, here we have it. Jalapeno, green bell, and yellow bell. Now we'll add two cans of pineapple chunks. This will be the sweetness in the chunks of pineapple. And then we'll use the syrup to make to thicken the sauce so that when you have it over rice or whatever, you have a nice sauce with it too. All right, guys, two cans of pineapple chunks with the juice. Mix it up. I added a little bit of crushed red pepper and we'll let that cook on low for eight hours. I'll show it to you later on in the day um, and then we'll take a little bit of either chicken broth or something like that mix it with the cornstarch and we'll mix it all in together to thicken it up all right guys till the next I don't know, eight hours from now and then I can show it to you but now I'm going to get the rice cooker out and make the white rice uh, brown rice rather all right all right guys well I'm still here at the Walmart movie theater dicks Getting ready to pull out. Had a good night's sleep, nice and quiet. Took a nice shower. The uh, pineapple chicken is doing great. This will be awesome over rice. And what I'm gonna do is just add some tender baby carrots to it as well. I figured why not, I have I this bag here. In the crock pot there. And I think the carrots will go good with the the pineapple plus the orange will add a little color to it. Voila, look at that. Yeah, the, ca the carrots add a nice color. So that's it guys, so now we're gonna strap it up like always and get on the road. That holds the lid, just in case it spills or anything, the sink is there. Um, Unfortunately, the cord doesn't quite reach the plug, so I have to use this little extension cord thingy, but it's such a low wattage, not a problem. All right, guys. Well, let me finish getting some stuff put away, my computer and whatnot, get the TV off, and uh, I'll be hitting the road. When I come back, I'll show you what it's like when this is all done. I don't know if I'll have the rice done yet, so we'll see. All right, guys, well, I'm at Lowe's. Decided to stop here and have something to eat and finish up the pineapple uh -huh. chicken. Now, you'll notice it's very liquidy. That's why you have to thicken it a little bit. But you don't want to cook it with the thickener in there. You want it to be almost completely done before you put the thickener in. And what we're going to do is we're gonna make we're gonna make a thickener with oh, let me turn this around with a little bit of chicken broth and yeah, reduced sodium and cornstarch. One thing about cornstarch, you want it to be cold. Okay, you want to start it off with a little bit of room temperature or cold water or chicken broth. Now I'm gonna use chicken broth. I'm just gonna mix it up in this little plastic cup. And what that's gonna do is it's going to make a slurry. All right, guys. The cornstarch slurry is made. Nice, no lumps, no chunks. And then we can add that right in. 
and that'll make like a chicken pineapple gravy kind of mixture just enough to thicken it and then you want to make sure you bring it to a boil again once you bring it to a boil that'll tell you how thick it's going to be it smells unbelievable probably should have added the second jalapeno but i figure what the hell one should do it i can always spice it up a little bit later all right we'll let that cook for about one more hour all right we're going to switch this on to low look at that and see how it's much thicker I'd say a little less than like a thick gravy but a lot thicker than it was probably closer to a stew that's it guys we'll let this cool and I'll vacuum pack it in individual little packages for lunches dinners or whatever and throw some in the freezer I also took the opportunity to make Catalina steak and onions this still has about four hours to go and we're doing it all with solar power in a parking lot that is it I didn't do any of the instructions on this one it's the same as I did to Catalina the last time on my past video um, except I just added a whole, I think three whole onions to the mix as well to make it more of an onion, like a steak and onion Catalina. And this one here, you got this video. All right, guys. Thanks for watching and bon appetit.